I hear money in there. Rolex. Nah, that's all silver. Whoa. Today we're heading back to that money hoarder unit. We started going through stuff in the garage and let me tell you there was even more hidden money than you saw yesterday. And we're just now getting to the back of the unit and most of the time that's where the best stuff is. So let's hope we can find even more money and just keep adding to that total. And wait till the end of this video you'll see all the extra money we found too and it's a lot. Let's get on the road and let's go get it. You know, we have driven through New York City, Dallas, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Toronto, Las Vegas, Baltimore, and I can't think of any other big cities, but we've driven through all of them. There's nowhere that has traffic as bad. I'm convinced. It's just the worst. All day, every day, no matter what time of the day, there's traffic. This is why I try to stay down south, but this unit looked too good to pass up. So we finally made it back to our unit. A lot less traffic today than there was yesterday, let me tell you. But if you didn't see part one, go watch that first. But we paid $320 for the unit. We've already gone through a lot of it, but there's still a lot of stuff, and that lot of stuff is in the back. And a lot of times, that's where the best stuff is. So let's get back into it. Let's get it. So before we get into it, we did do a little bit of research last night. We found out that all the prints along with the little statue that the little boy used in the bathroom were some artist with the last name Maverick. Now some of his prints are worth a good amount of money. Like I saw a pack of uh, five of them sell for $60 on eBay, which is good for prints. But the originals now, they're worth like a couple G's. So if we could find one of those in here, that would be nice because there's a lot more rolled up stuff. And if it's all his stuff, that could be money just in prints too. So. Let's start pulling stuff out. This box first. These boxes are supposed to be wardrobe boxes, but let's hope they're not. Or if they are, let's hope they're good clothes. Didn't we find something like, not this. This yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Ultimate years. Hey, Versace, Versace. Nothing. I was looking some of these up on eBay though. Versace cologne varies so much. Like I see one bottle that was like 14 bucks and the next one under it was like 117. I'm like, what, what's the difference? Does it smell that different? I guess so. Let's see what else we see in here. Macy's, wires. What's this little letter? Custom clothes. Hmm. Didn't we find that out last night too? Then you say you found it out that the guy that owned the unit Basically ran or created a style clothing company. But I, don't, I don't know if it was a clothing company, but a lot of the suitcases, like all the women's clothes that we found, yeah, were um, like handmade stuff that was sewn together. I don't know if by him or by someone else, but, but he definitely had some kind of fashion business. Yeah. But also some raunchy pictures. <laughs> yeah, so it makes it a little less creepy with all the pictures of the women, but some of them now, I hope that's your wife, yeah. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> These all towels. Knowing what they do for a living. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, I mean, who knows what he had going on behind the scenes with Hello. models and stuff. Mm, it's fancy. <laughs> like, this is the stuff, like, when you spray them more than once, you will clear out a room. They're like, <coughs> hi, Joe. <laughs> Dang, man. You get it done one spray? We all got a friend like that. Like, they do it for everything. Like, you go to a sporting event, and they go over to your house to watch TV. They put on, like, a pound of cologne. Like, why? Yeah. We're watching TV, dude. He also did male models. Like okay. pictures for male models. Yeah, I did see some of those too. But what is that? Recycling progressive. Progressive. Man. Shut up. All right. So the rest of it is all towels and clothes. So let's just get this box out of here. Let's pull up the next roll of posters here and see if it's more prints from the same guy. Um, it looks like. Look right there. See that? H Maverick mm -hmm. or something Maverick. So let's see we have more prints from the same guy. Let's see about this one too. Look, Maverick. His name is Hulis, H-U-L-I-S, 
Maverick. I'm guessing that's pronounced Hulis, but <laughs> not sure. More of those, I'll probably end up just listing them as a couple lots on eBay and seeing what people are willing to pay for them because the prices vary, but some of them are worth something. Like the Wild West ones we found in the last video, a set of those sold for 60 bucks, just five of them. So that's cool. Well, that's disappointing. Empty Don't Acer it? box. No, no, it's completely empty. But it's like taped shut. Something else might be in here. Look at that. They literally retaped the entire box after taking the computer out. That's kind of strange. It's like a blanket. Look. Is that all though? Oh, is, this is that Christmas? It is. Look. Penguin and a polar bear. <laughs> Christmas blanket just in time for Christmas. Let's pull out the big U-Haul box over here. Let's drag it out because I'm lazy. All right. These are supposed to be, I think this is actually going to be a wardrobe. It looks like it has the hanging rack on it and stuff. But let's get into it and see if that's actually what's all that's in it. See that? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's wardrobe. Well, let's check his brand because he had a lot of designer clothes. Let's chain it this way. This one is... The designer's usually on the inside. Yeah, yeah I can't see it. Like some of these suits. Make sure he doesn't have like a Burberry or something like that. I'm not recognizing any of the names, but then again, that's not saying much. <laughs> Italio, Mondo. I just have a thing, I see anything Italy, I say, because I feel like everything Italy is high class. Like everything made in Italy is just expensive. What is this one here? Made in China, that's not good. Martin. Yeah, nothing too flashy. This one just looks like basic stuff, but there are shoes down here too. Like these are kind of beat, but Stacy Adams again, decent brand. And we got a pair of Nikes that are also kind of beat. And there's a pair of, ah, come here, come here. Um, that looks shady. Hmm. Look at that in a second. Another pair of Stacy Adams. It's never good when you find a prescription bottle with no prescription label. And it's got a bag in it. Yeah. Do I open it? Sure. I don't know if I should touch what's on it. Let me put it on a box or something. Like right here. Pump it out? Yeah, just in case. Those are M's. It is Molly. Ooh. I don't know. It just says M on it. It's obviously not legal, I don't think. Nobody carries legal prescriptions like this. So, I got a bad feeling about what those are. This one says PY2. And it's a brown pill. And there's two white ones that say M. And all those in there say M too. And there's one of these two. That's mm. probably mm. something very illegal. All right, so I looked the two up. The white ones are oxycodone, which I mean, if they're in that little bag, I'm gonna assume they were probably obtained illegally, just guessing. And the brown one says it's a, identified as fanazibidibidid, try to pronounce that. <laughs> that word. But it doesn't look like it's anything bad, so I don't know if that, get you a buzz or something. I don't know if people do pills, I really don't. But I just know if it comes in that bottle and it's in a baggie, it's probably not legal. When I started looking up the artist and seeing the prices for his original prints, I remembered that I did see these yesterday. So I'm still kind of psyched about those. It's a possibility. If they had statues from the artist, prints from the artist, they might have originals. Based off the fact that they have so much designer clothes, you know they got money. So it's not like it's a money problem, but I don't know. Let's see what's in this big box. Uh, this one's another wardrobe, I think. Look on the side here. Well, look. That's just clothes. And they kind of beat up the camera, didn't it? Yeah. Poor kid. Oh, wow. It's okay. What is this? Again, the designer clothes. That's the, always the possibility. Because some clothes can be worth bank. You just don't know. Like, these brands like this, I'm telling you, my strategy is when something looks super ugly and you look at it and you're like, who would wear that in public? It's usually worth money. I don't know why. But as of now, I'm just gonna say there it's all it's in there's clothes and we'll just show you in the recap if anything's big money. I legitimately just got super excited and super let down at the same time. I moved the box and I saw these big frames and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I read the back where it said mirror hanging instructions and I was like, oh. <laughs> but let's pull out this box. Ooh, this box looks like it has more boxes in it. It's a big mirror. It is a big mirror. Let's hope it survives the truck ride home. Let's see. What's in here? This one? Definitely not closed, luckily. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I thought that was a game system. 
This is like a looks like a DVD player, portable DVD player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those usually sell. Oh look, a Walmart gift card. Uh -huh. You know, I forgot to mention the last video we did. We found one and actually had 13 bucks on it. So yeah, we used it. Yeah, we used it. <laughs> <laughs> Always use Walmart, you know. Um, quotes by Jim Ron, a uh, business philosopher. Anything in there? No. What's that? A couple phones. Yeah, another phone. Another phone. Um, yeah, a couple things like that. There's more money in here. I see a quarter, a few quarters, a couple pennies. Wait till you guys see all the money total at the end of the video. It's a lot. What is this? This guy traveled a lot too. When I was going through all the paperwork, I found a lot of hotel receipts. That's what these all are. That looks like the luxury. It is. Look, luxury. So that's where we stayed at Vegas a couple times. I recognize that key. Uh, what are these? Then? Team player award for outstanding performance. Doesn't even have a name on it. So if somebody wants a team player award, I got you. Let's get this out of here. Let's see what Amazon Goes Gold is. Looks like CDs. And a golf ball. A bunch of golf balls too. What's that? That is something that costs only 30 bucks. Not that big, but... Not even in there. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. They're cuff links. Cuff yeah. I recognize this lottery ticket. How much did you win here? Two and ten. You lost. Why'd you keep it? <laughs> um, lots of golf balls. You see all them? Yeah. That's kind of strange. There's another cologne bottle. It's actually got a lot of it in there. It's Versace. Alright, let's set this one aside. As expected, this unit is taking a long time to go through since we're going through everything in such detail. Because this one just seems like it has hidden stuff in it. Uh, I'm not seeing much here. What is that? A speaker? A sharper image speaker, I'm assuming. Oh, and there it went. This one's super light again. But look at that. They taped it up. Another blanket. What is it? Open it. Looks like a cartoon or something. Brats. Brats. I remember those things when they were big. Um, oh, wow. Look. DVDs, CDs. Change. I hear money in there. I feel it. It's right here. But some change. Again, some DVDs. What's these? Hawk Optics. They're in there. Oh, what are those? Those don't look like Hawk Optic to me, but they're there. Get, get in there. What else is in this box? Um, what's in here? Another one of Girl these? Girl in bathroom. Oh, it's the same thing. The same right. artist. Now we have the boy and the girl. There's also another thing in here. It looks like, again, done by the same person. Like, the same style of art. So, a lot of stuff by this guy. Let's move some few more things around. Make sure there's nothing else hidden down here. Like this. Uh, motion break. <laughs> or, whoa, I see a watch. It's a Rolex? No, it's an element. Oh. <laughs> element, quartz stainless steel. Could be worth a little something. <laughs> Come here. What's this? That's nothing. It was a, oh, look. SD card. This guy, I'm scared to look at that. <laughs> but I'm still going to because I'm curious. <laughs> what are these? A certificate. Alright. Uh, let's see if we see anything else down here. Looks like a Bible, maybe. I see some more chains down there. Holy Bible. Nothing in it but a, a Bible. Other than that, that box is kind of random. Definitely going to be one we're going to have to search thoroughly when we do the recap. You want a teddy bear? Sure. How many teddy bears have I gotten out of units? I don't know. But for some <laughs> reason, every time I get you one, you sell it to somebody at a yard sale. <laughs> feel offended. Or I take the stuffing out and wear it. Use it for sh <laughs> shipping. Um, this one is a... What is this? Project. Lose weight. All right. I need to. I should follow like a, it. A billboard thing. <laughs> All right, that'll go up here. Um, these are what I'm most excited about. I'm trying to save those just in case they're originals. These, I'm going to assume. Oh, boy. 
What? That last box is ripped oh, on the side. I love the boxes that are ripped down the side because you just know you can't move them already. Those are the best. I'm gonna go out on a limb and hope and assume these are more prints by the same guy. Get off. Oh yeah, Maverick. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. So, these could be worth a lot of money again. I'm just gonna set it up here, then I'll band it back up in just a second. But that could be a lot of money again. Also, I keep avoiding this bag because it looks like junk, but we will go through it once I get through the boxes. You know what I mean? Boxes are more exciting than bags. At least in my opinion. Let's see what's in this one. What's it say? Nothing. All right, go on. Let's see what we got. Looks like these towels. This is all towels? No. Oh, let's see a Stacy Adams box. I'm just gonna throw these aside right now. You think the shoes are in there? Yeah. Probably. Stacy Adams. Huh? Still looks heavy. Oh, it looked heavy to me. <laughs> no. Oh God. I don't even gotta open it. What do you think that is? I wonder. Huh. Not even opening that bag. Um, let's see, let's see. It's just like paper. Another one? Yes, two. Well, three technically. We found one yesterday too. <laughs> let's see what's in this. Ew. Rice. In this right here. Come here. Hmm. <laughs> Is there another one? I don't know. Why'd you laugh? Because uh, maybe I don't know. Oh gosh. I don't think it's that, but I think it's something else. But I'm not sure because I can't see the whole thing. I'm scared now. Ooh, look at this though. It's not what I thought it was. Another one of these. I found that yesterday. I still don't know what it is. There's some lights in here. And yeah, not much else. A water bottle. Kind of strange. Other than that, freaking more cologne. And just random, who knows what in that box. This looks like a lot of crusty stuff. Let's get this big old Amazon box out of here. Put it over here. Right there. Oh, let's see personal pictures. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Personal stuff. Um, I hear and see lots more money in there. This is... Oh, no full money? That's all silver. Whoa. Look at that. Money. The money hoarder continues. Jeez. I was about to say, it looks like a Burberry. Is it a Burberry case? I thought it was gonna be Burberry glasses, but thing full of money, I'll take it too. Let's see what else we got. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, a razor. I should not have done that. I should not have grabbed that blindly. I don't know what I could have gotten this unit, honestly. Spencer's. That's a fun store. You've never been in Spencer's. Um, the back of the store. Don't go to the back of the store. The rest of it's nice. Let's see. Random. Random. What's this gift box for? Get out. Oh, it's a glass. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. More money. Come to me. Come to me now. Even more money. Let's see. What's that? Collect them all. Star Trek. Ooh. Look at that one. Yeah. Star Trek. Star Trek. Another one. Another the same thing? Uh -oh. Uh -oh, broken. No. It's got something in it. Do I pull it out? My hand. <laughs> I found a foot yesterday. <laughs> Another Star Trek, guys. It's weird stuff in these units. Um, nothing there. A couple more pennies I'm going to grab and add to the rest of the chain. And a nickel. And a nickel. Another penny. Just keep adding to it. In these bags down here. Let's pull them up. Oh, jeez. I don't know what's in this one. <laughs> oh, whoa. The front pocket. There's some right here. Hold on. There's a couple quarters. Two, three quarters, at least, in this bag. Or this part of the bag. 
and cologne and a belt. What kind of belt is it? Perry Ellis. Where's it all up? There it is. Look at that. Found it. All silver too. Look, it's like all quarters, legitimately. Nice. Look at that. Is it there? That's at least like what ten bucks. That's a easy just to change right here. Then you cash in this one, all right? Just have me some bills too. I mean, you're gonna save all the change. You might as well change the actual money too. The bills. Here's how you celebrate once you have all this money found in a unit. <laughs> I'm gonna put this up here with the rest of the money. Try to keep it together, oh. but it's kind of filling up already because we took the jug home already. It's got something in it. Oh, razor. A little bit, I see 13 cents. What's that? Some change in there, but overall, this box could very well be something else that has something else hidden in it. Cause it's a lot of random just stuff everywhere, but we got the money out. We got the Star Trek stuff. Who knows what else is in there, but you'll see it at the recap. Now let's get the fun box. Everyone knows a buy storage unit. The best box is the one that's ripped awkwardly in the corner that you can't lift. And you're pretty sure that if you slide, you're gonna rip the side off. Those are the best ones. And the know. other corner's ripped. Oh yeah. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Well, first off, I see more of these. Let's open it up really quick and check it out and see if it's the same guy. Which I'm assuming it is. You see a little thing down there? Yeah, look on the right. Yeah, you're left. All right. <laughs> Maverick again. So, a whole nother thing of this guy's prints, which is pretty cool. Let's see. What was I about to brag? This. I was, <laughs> I, was like, go go. <laughs> I was like, let's go do it again. Careful. Grab the other side. Look at that. Oh, well, that looks like his figure is supposed Ooh. to be sitting on it somewhere. It looks like it should be a big figure. Yeah. He's got kind of nice jeans. Let's see. What brand are these? See, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, these are regular jeans, but this is just paint. Oh, they ruined them. So, they, they were just making their own style. All right. I saw a lot of jeans and shirts like that. It's a jean jacket. <clears throat> With no brand on. They ripped the tag up. Like it's ours, we there, made it. There was actually a lot of the like the women's clothes and dresses that had no Ooh. tags on it. Uh oh guys. I see some interesting stuff here. Look at that. Nice. So Michael Jackson set set this somewhere. I don't want to break it. Bring your frame. frame. I guess that's a movie, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna have to scoot some of this stuff out here. This is signed. Who's that signed by? Gary, Gary McCambridge? <laughs> Maybe. All right, can you see me well here? Yeah. Okay, just know we're kinda a little bit more in the unit than we have been. I see a nameplate on this one. Make personal pictures under that folder though. Trying to get it out the way. Hold on one second. The Rat, Rat Pack. pack. I've heard of them. I don't really know what it's they did. It's not signed now. No. Just a nameplate. Let's see what this is. I don't know if these are personal or not. I hate when I like don't know enough about. I don't about. know what the guy looks like. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know what he looks like. And I'm really bad with celebrities already. Careful, there's glass. This is signed. Isn't that, uh, yeah, it's P. Diddy. P. Diddy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's his signature, it but. It's 2GQ. That. So GQ was like, I guess the guy's nickname, not his actual name or abbreviation or anything. Is that another Michael Jackson? Oh, it's broken. Just pictures though. Ah. Gosh, I hate this light. Why do I feel like it didn't go off like this often? I don't know. But look, this is just like we're saying, Michael Jackson pictures and things like that. If we find something signed by Michael Jackson, then that would be nice. But. I'm not seeing it right now. What's that? Um, these look like personal pictures again. So guys, give me a second to get some of this stuff out of the way. It's just a mess. And then I'll show you what's in there. All right, so we got the personal pictures out the way. And to say I'm excited is a little bit of an understatement, guys. So look down here first. First thing you see, obviously, this weird off-brand PlayStation 3 that I've never seen before. I don't know what this is. I mean, obviously, it's a PS3, but I've never seen one like this. Maybe it's like the, you know, the PlayStation 2, they made the original one and then they made a slim version of it. Maybe it's a PS3 slim. I was always an Xbox guy at that point, so 
I don't know, but look at all these old toys I see in here. That's what I'm psyched about. Like, look at this. You gotta pull some out. The bubble wrap, you can't really see nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna pull them out. So, I, I'm assuming because of this, Star Wars. I don't Star Wars watch it Star all. Star Trek. We found the Star Trek things, too. Yeah, it's from 2004, so not quite as old as I thought it was gonna be. But look at that. There's one. Let's pull. That might be super collectible, though. Yeah, you never know. And this guy, this is Darth Vader. Looks like Darth Vader. Yeah, mm. look. <laughs> I don't think no. it's Darth Vader. Okay, guys, i tell you again, uh, I never <laughs> watched Star Wars, so. No idea. Don't they'll, expect they'll, me to know. They'll let you know. Yeah, they'll let me know in the comments, I'm sure. <laughs> he doesn't have a date on his foot, and I don't feel like undressing him right now, so. Maybe he's old, too. Superman. Ooh, Superman. That's pretty cool. Does he have a date on his foot? He does. Nope. Just DC Comics Hasbro. That. I feel weird undressing figures. Just some Batwoman or whatever, is that her name? I don't even know to be honest with you. No idea. This is from 1997. So some of these could definitely have some real value. Start setting them on the ground. So yeah. About to fall. This is this one. This looks like um Star Trek guy. Yeah, that's Star Trek. You know why I know that? Family guy? ERB. Well. <laughs> Cat spot. BB back to 1492. If you watch ERB, you're cool. This is just like a king. I don't really know who or what. But these toys, I think, could be... Well, look at this. I didn't even notice. It's like an old McDonald's or Burger King Star Trek toy. That. Who's this? Ooh! Bulbasaur! <laughs> I'm keeping that. I kind of watch Pokemon. There's somebody shoe it on a who, so I'm going to put it aside. Not enough. Dragon Ball <laughs> Z was my stuff. But I kind of like Pokemon, too. Whoa. Look at that. Is that an ant trap on him? Yeah. <laughs> the heck is that? Let's Look see if his feet. foot says X-Men from 2003. Oh, okay. okay. So that's kind of cool. I mean, they're old. I'm kind of scared that they're in that range where like they're old to nowhere and nobody cares about them. We're not old enough to be collectible yet. But my fingers are crossed because I know Star Trek, Star Wars, all that. This looks like freaking Indiana Jones. I don't know who. Um, oh, that's who that foot went to. Look. Okay. Get a foot back. There it is. Where'd it go? I just set it somewhere. No, it's a different color no, foot. Different color. Well, be in here. he's missing a foot. There's Batman. That looks OG right there. That looks old. But he doesn't have a date on him. He's very weird feeling. Feel him. Like, is it? Yeah. I don't see a date on him, though. It just says nothing. Old Batman. Let's see his. I see bobbleheads, too. Is that like Elvis Presley or something? <laughs> His leather jacket's in really bad shape. You see that? Yeah. But definitely a cool little figure. All right, let's keep going. Who's this guy? It is Letterman jacket, Jefferson High. That's the foot. That's the right color shoe. <laughs> Thought you had a black shoe. Did I? Yes. I'm stupid. I'm forgetful. <laughs> you know what it is? When my mind wants to see something, it creates it. Ooh, look. Happy days, Mrs. C. Hmm. That's kind of cool. There's a shit. There's a red brown shit. Oh. What? This big boy here. Look at that. He is from the year. Can't tell. It's too. In a, uh, it doesn't say. Hmm. The only date on there it says 181894 and I, was, I doubt Star Wars is out in 1800s. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what that's exactly referring to. What is this guy? He's a bobblehead. Let's see. Al Capone. That's pretty cool right there. An Al Capone bobblehead. And yeah, it just says he's made in Ohio. So American made. I know that matters with a lot of collectors. They like US made stuff. Let's keep going in here. Let's get this stuff bare out of the way. Look at this Star Trek right here. Let me get to it really quick. That looks like an old box. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's in pretty beat up shape, but that looks like it's older. I bet you this is from the 90s. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can find a date on it anywhere. This is in the box. It's got to have a date. Really? 2008. I'm very surprised. Now this looks, it might be made to look like that. Either which way. Super cool. Who's this guy? Jefferson High again. 
I don't know if it's the same character or multiple characters tilt from the it, same tilt show. Tilt it up to me so I can see. There you go. Mm -hmm. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And here we go with a... Uh, there it is. Don't tell me you're wrong this time. Well, I know it's a black shoe, so you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy... Is that the Joker? Oh, yeah, it is. Ooh, I wonder if he went on the Dark Knight stand. Yeah, I think he did, because it looks newer. Mm, I don't know. Do you have a hole in his foot? Yeah, he does, too. Oh, two of them. <laughs> Look at that. It might have two figures on it. There might be a Batman and a Joker. Cool. That's pretty cool, for sure. <laughs> this is like a Mr. America type thing. Captain America. Did I say Mr. America? Mr. America. <laughs> that. There's somebody's shoes right here. Right, let's get into this. This looks like Cap Spot. Beat me back to Fort <laughs> <laughs> So I can beat this man like it's my job. If you never, if you are a fan of Star Trek and you've never watched the epic rap battle of the history, do yourself a favor. Go to YouTube, type in ERB Star Trek or Captain Kirk and be amazed. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right, what is this guy? He looks old. Yeah, no idea who he is though. He's missing a foot. A couple more down here. What else do we have? Who are you, buddy? Oh, that's Pirates Jack of the Caribbean. Sparrow. Yeah. Avrachi. I got that other thing stuck in my head now. <laughs> and there's like a stand for one of them right there, I see. Is that the Flash? flash? I've never seen the Flash without his mask. So if it is, cool. The horse. Huh? There's a horse down there. Look at this little car here, a little Hot Wheels from says 64 Continental from 2007 now. I feel like the ones that are worth the money are from like the 60s and 70s, but maybe that one's special to the guy that owned it. And da -da -da, this guy. Yeah, whoever that guy is. Hey, he is, <laughs> his boot doesn't say, I don't know either. Is that all that was in here? This is the little Star Trek thing. This used to come in a cereal, didn't it? Yeah, it says catalogs in the back. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> Couple more figures right here. I see a horse, but I don't know what else is there. All right, there's something to hold one of them. What is this? Martial arts: The Ultimate Collection of Bruce Lee. Let's see what's in these really quick. That. A fairy man. I was about to say the same thing. That's what I got out of it. <laughs> a fairy and man. That he's horse a, definitely looks like he goes with the fairy. Yeah, he's a superhero too. All right. <laughs> that. A quate bottle. Everyone always tells me to look at them because sometimes people put like jewelry, like a ring or something in a bottle. But other than that, that, oh, what's the little pin? Hmm, I don't know what that is. This thing. Can yeah. focus on it? Yeah, that. Just says P. P. That's it. But other than that, that's all that's in this box. But that box could be a potential massive gold mine. I just have no idea right now. But when we get home, we'll do some research and I will let you know. This unit is now completely worth it. You see what I found? The old mouses that have the ball? Who used to do this? Don't lie. Oh. Who used to do that in school? Take this little thing out and play with it. I know I can't be the only weirdo kid that did that. But you know what? I'm keeping this and throwing the mouse away because this is nostalgia. Okay, I've been kind of putting this off the whole unit, like I said, because it looks like trash. But let's make sure there's nothing in there. Now if it's something epic, it's gonna look like it was like we left it aside for a reason. I swear to you, I have not looked in here at all. Watch it just be like a bag of like a thousand dollars. Like no, ah, <laughs> uh, that'd be nice. This paperwork. This is paperwork. Yeah, I see rated T for something. Dust. Um, randomness here. Candle. See, this might be junk. I might have been right with our intuition. <clears throat> it looks like junk. All around junk. Yeah. Okay. No, I know. It's junk. So the only things left are these. There's no more boxes left. Let's get these out the back first. I told you the tag said mirror on it, so. Careful, it might be real heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna take one at a time. Boom. Hello. So. That's a very nice mirror, actually. I bet it you is. that's an easily 20 bucks at least on Facebook Marketplace. Do they, do they go together? I don't know. Like, Let's do see. they clip together in any way? 
No, there's nothing on the back besides the thingy to hang it on the wall. Okay. That's it. But are they all the same? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, this one's new. Look. All right. Well, I mean, being that he was in, like, fashion, I mean, I guess whatever studio he took pictures in, he just kind of, you know, did this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to assume the third one here is the same thing. That was new, too. No, the tag's not on the front for some reason. Oh. But, I mean, realistically, how can a mirror be used? You don't touch it. It's just dusty. Is there a price tag on the new one? Oh, uh, let's see. It's a good question. Um, I don't see one now. But I guarantee you, like, at least 20 bucks a piece. Because, I mean, yeah. the, the little flimsy ones are 10 bucks nowadays. So, that's at least $60. If not more, we'll look it up and that might be worth, like, 40 or 50 Who knows? Last thing in the unit is the kind of the thing I've been making myself wait for. These frames. Let's see. That one's personal. That's not a good start. And that one's art, baby. That's what I was looking for. Maybe it's the same guy. Beloved is the face of my father. No, it's Sharon Wilson. That's different, but that's definitely live paint and stuff. That's not a print right there. So that could be worth money. Art's hit or miss. It's either five bucks at a flea market or thousand dollars at an art house. You never know. This one, oh, that's like a decor piece, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Still nice though. That's this way. Yeah. There you go. Cool. From Kirkland's. See the tag, no price tag on it though. This last one though. 20 bucks. Big one. Is that 20? <laughs> no. Uh, look at that. Oh, you probably can't see it because it's dark, but that's a $150 price tag. It's a map. It's heavy? It's pretty heavy, yeah. Ooh, it's a mirror map. Oh, what? A mirror map. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh, look that's over very here. Cool. You see, it says some stuff here. I don't want to turn it sideways. SA, I don't know. It looks like a different language. Well, it's a world know. map, I'm assuming. Uh, not quite. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. This is this right here is, are the continents. Yeah. I was looking right here. So the the green is the oceans. Yeah, it's kind of backwards. The, the water. But, yeah. You know, <laughs> That's why it threw me off. So that gets 150 bucks at the store. Probably still get at least 50, 60 for it now. So yeah. that's not bad at all. Now comes the hard part. Let's get this stuff packed up. Let's get it home and then let's go through everything in more detail and then we'll let you know what you missed and show you the final pile of money. Stopped at a gas station to grab a drink and I just had to put that on video because there's nothing I agree with more than that statement right there. All right guys, it is like 1 a.m. We literally got home at like right before six. We've been going through this unit of editing for a long time, but everything has officially been gone through now. So there's no more secrets. What you're looking at, Right behind us, I'm not gonna really show you in detail. This is just the yard sale pile. This is also a few things from other units mixed in there. So we're planning on having a yard sale this Saturday. I'm kind of on a fence on it. It's Thanksgiving weekend and more people gonna be out or more people gonna be away, you know? You guys should let us know. What's your yeah. opinion on that? We're gonna try it, no matter what. I showed you the mirrors, there's three of them. They're going on Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks a piece because I see much smaller ones going on there for like $40 that are like way smaller and crappier looking than that. So. I should be able to get 30 a piece on those. Very easy. So that's an right. easy 90 bucks. Let me show you what I also, found. Also, that stuff is also Facebook Marketplace. Yes. The art and the mirror, mirror thingy. thingy. But the mirror map. <laughs> let me show you. So, so total in all ones except for one, two, we found $17 in cash or bills. But, you know, we stopped at the gas station on the way home, got some beef sticks and some soda. So about yeah. 11 of it's gone. But I still found one $2 bill. And I have one one left, and all the rest of it, the other 14, was all ones, which is kind of weird. I have one one in my wallet, though. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> we have a lot of ones, all ones, yeah, which is kind of sketchy based on the other stuff we found. Can I also say, if you remember this video, I said, oh, look, an SD card. I'm going to put that in my pocket. <laughs> it's bad. It's like legitimately 25 plus people just completely naked, men and women. So... They're different too. They're not internet pictures. You can tell they're taken on a crappy phone like years ago. So they're personal pictures. I don't know what's going on. I also want to ask, I know we got some viewers from the UK. These, we found these Bank of England bills. I just want to make sure these are light. basically how the money is now and it's not some older collector bill or something like that. Cause I know their money's worth, I think, I think one pound is worth like 1.3 US dollars. So this is nine pounds. So if it's in the US, it'd be like 12 bucks if this is relevant. Let me know and make sure it's not no old collector type things. We found one of these staples, right? 
One million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was real. You, can I tell you one thing that kind of freaked out for a second? You know the little things the hotels give you where they put the room keys in? In the back of that, in one of those, I found a $500 gift card. But it had 93 cents on it. I was like, no way, because the pin wasn't scratched either. I was like, he forgot about it. But no, 93 cents. But we did find an IHOW gift card that has like a little over $15 on it. So hey, next time we go out for a unit, grab some sausage bacon and a drink, right? <laughs> right. Them. And the other card has like a dollar something on it. So we literally have like 17 bucks we're gonna spend at IHOP. This stuff is the stuff that's good from the end. <sighs> it it's doesn't, also right it doesn't look good right now, but <laughs> it's, it's a lot stuff. though. It's a lot. So the toys, the ties, we're getting back into the live auctions, probably not this coming Saturday after Thanksgiving, but probably the one after that. We wanna get back into doing it every Saturday or every other Saturday or something like that to get stuff sold. Cause we're getting a lot of messages and comments. You guys wanna buy stuff and I feel bad. And I kinda miss being live for a few hours. It was fun. So we're definitely planning on getting back into that. So the Barbies Stay will tuned. be a lot. The action figures will be a lot. The ties might be a lot. And some of the clothes you'll see on our Poshmark account, some of the other stuff you might see on eBay. Everything's going everywhere, but obviously the big thing from the unit still this monster bucket here. This is all the chain from the unit. I guarantee you that's at least 40 pounds to 50 pounds worth of chain. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm I mean, saying 40 pounds. Yeah, I say 35 40. So my question is Last time we did a video where we put the change into Coinstar, it got like 200,000 views really quick. So apparently you guys like those. I think that should come next so we can see exactly how much change was in just this unit. If you guys want to see that video next, let me know down in the comments. The only other thing we got, these are all the blah blah clothes, you know what I mean? We are going to keep the towel for the yard sale because for some reason, in California at least, people always used to buy our towels. They picked through the clothes and take the towels out. and. I think this dude stole hotel towels or else he just has like 70 white towels for some reason. But we're going to set all the towels out for a buck a piece and hopefully they'll sell. And this is all the trash. Not really much, honestly. Um, what was the word I'm thinking of? Considering <laughs> how big the unit was. So overall, really, really good. The only thing I said that you didn't really see was just more change. I found a margarine container full of change, a little purse full of change. I found and an envelope full of change. Envelope full of change. And then, of course, just more dollars and uk money and stuff but i'm willing to bet that's at least what would you say in change what would be your guess oh gosh my guess mm. what do you have a guess yet uh, that is so hard 50 bucks, 100. i'm gonna say like 420 400 yes Are you crazy <laughs> our bucket in california is only three something and it was like 100 pounds okay i'm gonna say like 150 bucks i don't know but I think next video, even high. we'll cash that in. I hope you're right. <laughs> There's next a lot video, of silver. Yeah, there is a lot of quarters. You do got that. The one in California was a lot of pennies, so it makes sense. We're going to cash that in next video because if it's even close to what we paid for the unit, hey, we got it in literal cash back. But anyway, that's it for this crazy unit. There's a lot more going off the next couple weeks, so we're hoping to get back in this hardcore, reselling, buying units like crazy, and just getting back to uploading as close to every day as I possibly can. So if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.